Hey guys, I'm going to make a, a too long didn't read version of my last video on why this teleport setup is so strong. You can watch the video if you want all the reasons. Uh, I've probably not even listed them all because there's so many. But uh, for this particular reason and the main reason why this setup is so good. And I've got Cassie here on tech roll backdash. And the tech roll is the important bit about the setup. Is it completely eliminates tech roll from the opponent's move lists. Now, Cassie doesn't have the best tech roll backdash in the game, but even Tribog in that situation would get launched by that exact same setup. So when it comes to actually playing uh, against the character, and you're looking to set up double bombs, which is, you know, a crucial part of your gameplay as Cyrax. Um, as you can see, like, that low wasn't guaranteed there. She can just jump out, jump into you, backdash again. Um... The Cyrax player has to make a read, and they'll normally do the close bomb, then the far bomb into the forward three. But now that reads that that kind of setup's kind of eliminated now. The opponent will no longer be able to tech roll uh, and backdash because they will just get punished. Actually, I'm going to drop this now because I've, I've already shown this. Um, what the, the counter to this setup and why I'm making this video as well uh, as a little bonus is the backdash and the delayed wake up are very strong against this condition in setup um but they're weak against double bomb setup so the opponent has to think right is he going to go for the teleport mix or is he going to go for the backdash mix well the first thing is on the on the backdash side of things as you can see there the backdash is a good option on wake up against this setup uh, but it's actually uh, not safe uh, for a lot of characters so a lot of characters in in that, that same situation that i've shown there actually get punished by like forward one free or forward free um so even though it's a good option it's not a safe option there you go you can see it there cassie is on auto block so that's not even so can you say that's a good option legitimately there's not only that you can actually do it in a way where for some strange reason, I don't—I haven't got the timing down, so I couldn't even give you a tutorial on how to do it. You can actually make the bomb Oki backdash as well. It must be something to do with the timing on it. I don't know, but it, you will notice when you're practicing this that sometimes they get launched and you're thinking, what's happened there? And so then I wanted to go along against, you know, Cassie Cage is one of Cyrex's hardest matchups, uh, especially if she knows about the tech roll option. Um, and the main reason why is she just controls the space so well. She's, you know, any character with good air mobility, good jump ins, you know, she can jump over the net mid screen and full combo Punisher. Uh, she's got uh, an invincible wake up, so, you know, that's great. You know, how can you say that's bad? The, uh, any caster that knows the instant air guns uh, and the mid, the mid is just so good. And this, this is the same reason why smoke is so good against Cyrax. Any character with, with the normals that can compete up close and in the mid range, you're just going to get dominated from start to finish. Uh, but setups like this, like I have here, they're not going to make the matchup. Uh, I wouldn't say they'd even make the matchup any easier for you. You know, the matchup number might, it might be the same. You know, it might still be a six four seven three. I think it's Cassie, Cassie Katana, Smoke and stuff for seven threes. Um, but what it might do is, if you're in a tournament setting, uh, it might nab you a few games where you weren't, you wouldn't nabbed originally because they have a tech roll bashed out of your uh, tech tech roll back bashed out of your back three down four or hard spockable setup or they just um wake up with an invincible armor and, I, and i'll show you this now what i mean by this so if they do nut buster which is unsafe by the way so you only need to block against this as a cyrax player you can actually just teleport same side or the other side and you're safe with this setup. You can time it if the opponent doesn't know the matchup too well. You can do a delayed mid bomb, then teleport behind. And there is a way of getting it so that she gets launched by that. And the same thing goes with the diving glow kick. So in both in those situations there, I shown this teleport setup because it's safe means that this Cassie player can't wake up with just up Buster. But the juicy stuff comes when she tech roll nut busters um, so as I said this is kind of like a tech roll counter setup and, and I'm going to show you now why it is a tech roll counter setup I can't remember whether it's close bomb or mid bomb I'm just going to try close bomb first 
Yeah. So once again, I have eliminated Tech Roll from this Cassie's pool of moves. She no longer is. She's now conditioned that Tech Roll against these setups is just not good. And, with, I mean, there's Diving Glow Kick as well, and you are able to just armor break that. I don't believe it's double hit of armor, so just armor break that. There's no reason, not, you know, you wouldn't do that. But against Nutbuster, which is the invincible one, she cannot, she, she can no longer tech roll Nutbuster. And this, 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 this applies to so many characters as well. And this is why I wanted to make this quick video, just to say it's safe, It the tech roll, they can no longer make a massive distance across the screen away from you to get away. Uh, and obviously, you're right next to them. It jails into your back free if they if they just block on wake up. Uh, and if they delayed wake up, well, they've delayed wake up. So that obviously means you can either do like a, a, a cross up safe jump into a 50-50 maybe. Maybe you'll do more pressure. You could do a cross up safe jump into a grab. Um, I'll actually show this now. If they do the delayed wake up and they make a habit of doing a delayed wake up, I'll quickly show this on smoke. Uh, and they think you're going to do the teleport setup. And I showed it at the very end of my last video. Well, not a lot of people are going to get through 25 minutes. So let's say uh, this um, smoke player does delayed wake up. Actually, I'm not going to show it. I'll, I'll just explain it. But if they do delayed wake up, you just do the, the double bomb setup. And even if you teleport, you can still do mid bomb and then do like forward one three if you think they're going to jump out, uh, or just do the back three down four again because they've delayed the wake up. Yeah, it's not super legit, but you know it's an option. You can even do bomb grab. You know, ultimately when the opponent delays the wake up, they give you a longer time to set up. Um, but what I wanted to show the other power, and this works with Melina as well. So this ju isn't just smoke not only remember guys this whole time this is reversing the opponent's inputs so if they don't have a back forward motion they're going to have to know the matchup know that it reverses inputs and act accordingly then make the right read okay so with face forward here with smoke uh and again this is a tech roll counter setup normally smoke doesn't have to hold anything at all but with this setup i'm just gonna do uh, mid bomb straight away, mid ground bomb straight away, then teleport behind, and 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 he can no longer phase out. Uh, I've not tried his phase um, away yet because, uh, to be honest, I've not looked too much into it. I imagine there's a setup for phase away, even if there isn't a setup for phase away, um, it's not the end of the world because you're safe anyway. You know you're safe at this point. Um, let's, hmm, I could try something actually. You could probably count, oh, I, I think there is a way to counter phase away actually, I'll show you now. Didn't teleport, did I? Did I do two bombs then? Am I going crazy? Again, mid bomb, teleport. Phase away. So what you could do there, because you're safe after this setup. If they phase away, you're still safe, so they're not going to get the punish like they normally would. Uh, but what you could probably do is, um, yeah, <laughs> you can psych them out. Can you see? Same with the back dash thing. You do mid bomb, but instead of teleporting behind them. You teleport same side, and they phase into it. So no matter which option they pick, it's a 50-50. And I hope this shows you the power a power of this tech. I found this setup on smoke. I played against smokes. I was going even with smokes. I know quite a few people who feel that smoke is a really hard matchup, and it is. It, I, it's it's against Cyrax for sure. I'm only like the only reason why I'm able to even go even with a Cyrax, uh, with a smoke player is because I'm just better than them. You know, it's as simple as that. I've got more tech than them. I just I, I know better. Um, but but. Now that they can't even get out mid-screen, it's a 50-50 guess. It's, it's a reversal of inputs as well, so whatever. But you're safe. You're safe, guys, on this. This isn't a punish. I'm not doing a 50-50 on a punish. I'm just safe. In fact, I can imagine uh, that there is a world where I can do the same thing. Go teleport behind him, but then jump after him and still, like, 
get pressure on him afterwards. I probably he's not going to be punishable, but I can get pressure. And this is why it's so important when you're playing a character to know all of your character's options, lab all your options, find these little setups. I'm sure there's something else. This is another setup that I've not found yet. I thought when I found the corner setup, there wasn't going to be any more. I thought to myself, well, I'd be very lucky if I found something new. And then I find a you cannot tech roll backdash setup that works on Triborg as well as every other character in the cast. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm going to still try and find out more setups and stuff like this and see what characters you could do, little nips and tricks to get them uh, to get them launched or to punish safe armors and stuff. And uh, it's exciting times. Thanks for watching. Bye.